Right. Uh, in this video, we want to do a stock requisition. So you log into the system and you go on stock and you scroll down. You click on material requests. Here you can see the status, whether it's pending for approval or whether it has been approved. So you click on add material request. And here, make sure the transaction date is correct. Required by, you enter the date that you require these items. You require it by 19th. Then come back, remove that one. Uh, we want to put mass breed there. So we put mass breed. Uh, then vehicle type. You put the vehicle type that you are dealing with. Let's say we are dealing with a Toyota, a Toyota GD6, and then range number, you enter the range number for your vehicle, and then model, you enter the model, uh, maybe it's SUV uh, 2021, then chassis number, you enter the chassis number. Also make sure that required supply is required by, uh, you put it's required by the workshop. Anything that you've got this star in red, Make sure that you put uh, some data there. That item will be mandatory. Then you go to set target. Where else? Just type ST and then you select this one stores M. Scroll down. Uh, now you come to item code. Enter the item that you want to request to make a requisition for. Uh, so let's say here yeah, I want. Uh, maybe you want sundries, so you end on sundries, then item, I can just say bow joints, so just end up bow joints there, then click on add row, select the other item that you want, let's say the item that I want here is not in the system, uh, maybe it's a gearbox for GD6, so I can just type gearbox here, and then the system is now saying, you can see there's no gearbox here, so I can click on create new item, so make sure you do have the rights to be adding these products. Item group, just select the one that is written all groups. And then uh, click on save. And then the description here, you can just write gearbox. And then quantity, maybe you say we want two. After that, you click on save at the top there. So click save. If it doesn't show draft, click again on save. Right, so you come here, click on action, then click on submit for approval. So currently it's in sub in in draft status. You can scroll down to check what's in the contents. If you want to change, you can change while it is still on drafts. The moment you submit it for approval, you won't be able to modify anything here. Maybe you want to add something more, uh, another item, you can also add want it to here and then so let me finalize uh, and select save so the moment I click save I click on action again and then submit for approval so it's now uh, waiting to be approved by the parts manager so that's it for doing requisitions so you should wait for your on your check your email this requisition might be approved or uh, might be approved or rejected.